Wow, this place is so cool. I agree, Oglethorpe. We need to come up with a beautiful name for such a beautiful place. Mm, how about we name it after King George III? Steve, you're a genius. Take one. Wait, where's the script? It's literally in your hands. Oh, right, yeah. Take two. Wait, are you sure this is the right script? Just read it. It's not that hard. Oh, okay. I will this time. Take three. Wait, before we start, we should clarify that this is a fictional scenario and there definitely weren't video cameras in the 18th century. Oh, yeah, right. That makes sense. We would say that. Anyway, take three. Are you in debt or looking for some land for your beloved family? Gross. Well, you're in luck. Stop sitting around in your worn-down wood cabin and come down to Georgia, the birthplace of freedom, and get 50 acres of free land to build, well, another worn-down wood cabin. We have an indent... What is this word? Oh, that's indentured. It means bind someone by an indenture as an apprentice or laborer. I totally did not get that from a dictionary. Anyway, continue. Right. We have indentured servants working off their debt on your plantations. What'd you say? The workers aren't being paid anymore, but that's illegal in Georgia. The birthplace of freedom. People don't care. I'm going to go cry like a baby in that corner now. The warm climate allows for you to make that cash money selling crops like tobacco, rice, cotton, and indigo. Next thing you know, you're going to be rolling in cash. We're open to any religion, so believe in whatever you want, unless you're a dirty Roman Catholic. In Georgia, you won't be smashing between your crazy neighbor and a random farm with a chicken on his head, unlike the Middle and New England colonies. You can have privacy and not worry about your stuff getting stolen. Be careful of them darn hogs, though. And your crops won't get destroyed by devastating snowstorms that rob you of your money. And maybe your clothes, too? We have advanced technology like candles and flails and sundials and buckets. If you are struggling to read... What does it say? I don't know how to read. Th then how did you read the rest? Never mind. It says if you are struggling to read this, then you can hire a private teacher. Or if you don't want to spend some of your precious money, then you're stuck with homeschooling. I need a private teacher. You definitely do. Okay, continue now. Right. We have port cities open for trade along the Atlantic Ocean, where you can make a profit exporting goods to other countries. We have newspapers to spread word around town, so you can be caught up on all the things that have happened recently. We also have tasty food like pumpkin bread, corn pudding, bread, corn, rice, and fried beaver tail. People eat this stuff? Yes, and, um, you're supposed to make it sound good? Oh, right, um, let me restart that. We have tasty food like pumpkin bread, corn pudding, bread, corn, rice, and fried beaver tail. Tasty! That's why you should come to Georgia. Did I do good? Uh, yeah, you did pretty good, I guess. Wait, let me listen to it. Uh, here. My voice sounds like...